So I'm interested that with your three films that they're being played together and kind of they've got a, a title for all three. And you've also mentioned that you're interested in maybe moving away from those themes. So I'm wondering how to you those three films sit side by side, like on a program. Um, <clears throat> actually, I'm, I'm really glad that the films can be shown together and that, that um, the people who show my film, who, who like my film, like are uh, um, solidary with the idea that these three films belong together because I really make them with the same energy but not only with really the same kind of emotion or inspiration I even if of course and uh, the film are not the same and you can maybe even like oppose them sometimes but I think what they are about basically and 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 where they come from is the same uh, to me there are different versions um, on a uh, quest for uh, meaning in a way. There are films about destiny, there are films about passing of time and these three films were made in a way for me to both like to turn a page and try to keep trace of uh, uh, of both of like moments of my life, but also of people that uh, had meant a lot to me. And and there are films that there could be flashbacks used, but there isn't. There's kind of like you, you you said like it's like turning a page. There's like a linear. It's like a path maybe. Or yes, it's it's quite impossible for me to imagine writing a film. Maybe I will change my mind, but now where I would use flashbacks. Because just because I guess my films are so much about passing of time that the notion of what is present, what is future, what is past is very accurate. So there's something almost like sacred in it for me. So I can't like just play with it in a way like I would say we can, uh, I put like a scene in the beginning of the film. Uh, um, like that is now and then I go back to the past and then again to the future. It would be so much like contrary to the kind of feelings I'm trying to transmit because I'm trying to give a sense for the public of this, this, the fact that you can't, that you can't stop the time. So there is an artifice in the, I mean, of course cinema uses artifice and why not? But this one, this one specifically, is just um, so much um, uh, the contrary of, of uh, the kind of feeling of truth I'm trying to, to, to transmit. So on the other hand, though, there are, there are gaps in the time. And, and I find it inter interesting because in, in Goodbye First Love, there's a conversation about gaps w in, in the car um, where um, she believes that nothing happened, she calls it a void, uh, and, and, uh, but um, the architect, he, he thinks that, thank you, uh, everything matters, but the film has like clearly left those moments out. It's funny because that you mentioned this scene because it's actually like the scene that felt when I wrote it as being the, in a way, uh, like for what it was said in the film, like really the crucial scene, not only of this film, but maybe of the three of them. Like, like it was for me as if at this precise moment I was really expressing, telling what I had been trying to approach with my films. This paradox that um, you have, that I think you have in my films of that the fact that you have a notion of despair and, and a notion of like uh, um, feeling of being um, totally impuissant, sorry, powerless, powerless, and and not free in a way, and 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 this other other notion of accepting your destiny as being the only way to actually being free. So there is this trying of 
I think the characters in my film try to, to both to, to become free persons, which is not something that is given to you, something you have to learn, and they're trying to accept their destiny, and it could sound like being two contradictory things, and, and I think my three films are trying to, to make them belong together, or to show that they belong together. Yeah, it's like there's a in some movies it's more with the the parents and in other in the, in the most recent one it's more maybe with the relationship but there's kind of a power to that connection and also a weakness and I think that's kind of what you're saying about having the freedom to to move on that you sacrifice something but also gain something. Yes, and it's also about um, accepting the fact that moving on doesn't mean to uh, mm, just destroy what you have been, like the memory of what you have been before, just like de deny uh, um, uh, the past and the fact that you have to, um, to accept it as being part of you even if you uh, don't like or even like hate in a way uh, what you've been. And you have that even in All is Forgiven with, with uh, the main character when, when, he, when they meet together again, him and, and his girl, it's, it's possible only because they're both, they're, in a way they are in peace with, with, uh, with the past uh, and they don't really try to go back to there and try to say who was wrong and who, who was right and, and the guilt and uh, that they're just uh, moving forward, but just knowing that that they, they know that they, it has happened, but they just you can't just you can't change it. It's just like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll go down.